Hello. I'm audio. Um. I don't know what's happening in the scene, but th I'm audio. This is my glorious channel, and it's all good. Okay, I stationed Kunagi and Kyoichiro together, and um, I, you know, they're talking it up. Pretty much. Um, Senna talks to Kyoichiro as well. I mean, it's Rogue's best bro. It's Rogue's best bro and his woman. They're chatting it up. You know, that's cool. I don't know. I'm trying to think, okay, like, I would, you know, I have my friends, girlfriends, you know, you try to meet them and be nice to them and know them, you know? It's important, right? I mean, if Haruhi Suzumi was real and I was dating her, I would expect my friends to, you know, want to know who she is. Or I'd be fucking angry at them. So, that's how it works for me. Um, you know. So. That's how that goes. Um, Kyoichiro is a character, um... I'm trying to think of how to say this. Uh, well, you know the Hani Shrine girl? You know her? Um, I'll bring her up again when I see her again. I don't know if I will, because I don't like interacting with the Hanis. And it was so long ago, but it was knowledge I didn't have back then. Um, anyway, the Hani Shrine girl, she's like... She's a reference within several Alice Soft games. You likely played Sengoku Rants before Daibancho. And you know Okita Nozomi. Um, well, they look very similar. For, you know, because they're they're basically a parody of one another. She's in a lot of games by Alisoft. Um, Kyoichiro has characters with a similar design in other Alisoft games as well. Um, and a similar role. Uh, there are other characters like that too, but... We'll go over them eventually. Um, yeah, I, I, I need to look around and see exactly what's going on. You know, you know how it goes by now, probably. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see what's more important. I mean, I talked to Amon Saitel once, so I should probably throw out a recruit on him eventually. Um, Root Through the Garbage gives you some item. I think it increases law. It's not very good. Um, during the district phase of the game, I didn't actually do it, but uh, there are plenty of opportunities to go to a store in the district phase of the game and buy items that you can get now. Like, uh, if I were to go Root Through the Garbage, I'll find an item that I could have purchased in the district phase. And I think I can purchase it now as well. Um, in Akibahara, there's a store. I think it's here. Uh, yeah, shopping, Tantan HQ. I think that's where it is. But you can go buy items there too. Um, you can actually buy another unit, but <laughs> she's expensive. And I've already explained that I'm not very good with the money thing in this game. But um, if I were good, I would have already recruited the uh, rumored beauty fellow. Um, which you should. I mean, I'll go over that and I'll, I'll end up recruiting him and doing several of his events probably. But... I'm getting ahead of myself, so we'll wait. But uh, that girl I was talking about that you can purchase, she isn't expensive herself. She's like 13 BP. But uh, you've got to buy all the other items in the store, and that can be expensive before you have access to her. She's not even that good, so it's, you know, it's whatever. Um, this event that I'm doing here, I chose it because I really like this this character, um, and I, I want to recruit her, and she just... She originally she seems like she's an absolutely horrible unit, but she's not. She's she's doable. You can you can use her. I mean, you can technically I've gone over this way long ago, but you can technically use any unit in the game if you like them. Um, you just have to keep in mind what their role is. I mean, obviously. Oh, and I was also getting like all thrown off in the last two parts doing things that people would laugh at probably. Um, but I went and read up on some things that I'm trying to do and um it's all taken care of now so <laughs> uh, well it will be once I move my units around again um 
But hopefully it was understandable confusion. And it's been several months since I've actually played through the game last, which is weird, you know. I mean, I can play through the game several times before the Let's Play and whatever the hell. Um, but yeah, I'm recruiting Mummy chan uh, I don't, you know, she's got a weird name. A name that they didn't even fully translate, I'm sure. I mean, they did in the text, but it's not on her nameplate, so. I don't know. I, I don't like her because of how she's dressed, you know. Well, I do like that, but I don't, you know. This character I would like anyway, you know. She could pretty much look like that, you know. And, <laughs> and I like the character. She's cool. She's like, uh, I don't know. She's not scary. She's just super cute. and She's Moe. Mummy-chan is Moe. Um... I mean, I, I said that she was useful and you can make good use of her, and that's all true, but you can only station her in, like, half of the territories in the game. And I promise you, I don't remember them all. So, I'm gonna station her somewhere, and it's gonna waste a beginning of turn event, and it's gonna undeploy her from that territory. And you don't even get any character checks for it. It's just... It just screws with you. And, I mean... I know Shinjuku's one of the places you can't put her. Um... But I, I don't remember all the other ones. Basically, she dries up. Um, or she gets into some stupid bullshit. Just because she's not very smart. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I like her character design, though. And I like that she has a gigantic claw. It's not really a claw, but it's just a creepy hand, you know? Ugh. Giant body... Well, I shouldn't say all giant body parts are terrifying. But I guess if I had a fear, it would be like... You know, you, you're in like a room, okay, you're exploring in the woods and you see a guy in the woods. Okay, that's not scary, but the guy's head is 20 times larger than, maybe not 20, that would be comical. But you know, it's like significantly larger. His eyeball is the size of one of my fists, that would be terrifying. Um, abnormally large proportions are creepy like that. Um, you know, you've seen those people with, like, elephantitis, or... That's uh, horrifying. Um, I don't know how they live, but whatever. Um, Rogue Fix is mummy. You know, he saves her. And he saves her a lot. Um, so. I think Rogue is the only person that saves mummy. Um, yeah. And she, uh, she, like, gives him scarabs and stuff as, like, the reward, because, I don't know. She just explains it all, because she's from some weird culture, like Egypt, you know. So. Whatever. Moe. Got to recruit her. But, I mean, you don't have to recruit her. She's, like, she has, like, four stamina, and her ability drains three of the enemy's stamina and does damage. But it's not really, you know... You can basically deploy her once, use all of her stamina, then make her rest. That's all that she can really do. She's one of the worst units in the game, I guess, is what I'm getting at. I'm, you know, I'm trying to make it sound like, you know, you can use Mummy, she's pretty cool, but... You really can, unless you're like me and you try really hard. So, there you go. Um... We'll go talk to Yuma. I haven't done that yet. I don't think there's anyone I need to speak to. I mean, if there is, I've forgotten already, and it's probably become an issue, so. <laughs> um, I should start talking to Tomoka. Um, somebody asked me if I was planning on getting her character check. Not not Yuma's, I'm talking about Tomoka. I don't know why I'm doing I should have spoken to her, but... <laughs> um, if, if you get, like, I think it's her third character check, she won't leave your army later in the game. But if you fail to obtain that, she leaves your army to join the group Murata joins. And I don't know whether or not I'll do it. Um, to be honest, I haven't saved her from that fate yet, so... Uh, on my own time, in any playthrough, I haven't. Um, and that's not why I wouldn't do it now, it's just that... You know... It adds more, I guess. Unless she's got her own, like, dialogue sequence and inner thoughts when she's, you know, refusing to go back with Murata. But I don't know about that, so... I like to go with the sure thing. 
Um, we'll see, though. Um, as far as Yuma goes, it's really not hard to get all of her stuff. You just talk to her a bunch. Um, I think she has... She has a couple of specific things. I think, actually, one of the character checks might require the Engineer guy. Um, uh, Kensuke. I, I'm still sure that's his name. I've said it enough times, I hope that's his name. I don't want to be wrong 12 times. Um, you know, at least in, in a case of, like, Yamamoto Isoroku, I just I can just call her Isoroku throughout an entire Let's Play, and, you know, it's intentional, so it's okay, right? Um... There's no way anybody would know that that was intentional, but we, we'll see. Um, they have that guy there again, and he's just going to sit there, and he's going to be obnoxious. Um, Rogue is going to... Eh, give me a second. Uh, I need to see what's up. I forgot about Diamond, too, which is annoying. Um, Kyoichiro will go use his last bit of stamina on that guy. Ren will rest. Um... Income phase is coming up, I believe. So I should reorganize for that. Um, Mummy, I guess for now, will just go and help with income. How's everything else doing? Let me go look around here. Survey my territories. Um, it's looking fine, actually, so that's good. Okay, Roga is going to go up here. And... Um, I guess that should be okay. Yeah, um, we'll leave it. And I I'm checking for items again. I don't know why, I just am. Like, somebody should have this. I don't know why I didn't give it to anybody. And because it gives evasion, it's probably not going to go to Kanagi. Uh,. It's, actually, that's a better item for Daigo than this is. I don't know why I did that. Um, whatever. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to, I guess, Heita, even though I haven't been using him, you know? But I, I should be throwing him. I don't even know where he's stationed. Here. He is fine there for now as well, because they could attack there, so I'm good to go. Um... Yeah, you know, I really don't want to deal with this guy right now, so we'll just pop him a wolf thing and be done with it. <laughs> that, that skill never gets old, you know? It's it's above all other power skills. You know, you can use Rance Attack as many times as you want, but... Wolf Fang is way more powerful than Rance Attack, you know? I mean, just the way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it feels. You know, and pretty much all the skills in this game as well. It's stronger than those. I mean... There's one more later on that rivals it, you know, but... We'll see all that later on. Um, oh, and if you don't save Ulrika in time, she becomes a vampire. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and I probably should have said spoilers. I, you know, I'm just... I'm just not on the ball with that, you know? I keep dropping all these spoilers on you guys. Totally sorry. Uh, but at least it leads to one of her CGs, so, you know. It's like, uh... It's like letting... It, it's basically like letting, uh... Kendo be annihilated in combat. Annihilated. I guess knocked out, killed. She's not killed. But... You know. It's the same kind of bad end deal, yo. So now you know about that. Unless I already told it, you know, in, in which case, you know, it's whatever. It's, I, I'm, I'm repeating myself, it's whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know, I might recruit her, I might. I, I gotta see. I, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. Because I realize that I, you know, I should be doing a lot more than the average player, right? I should be trying, you know, like, exerting myself a lot more to get more things to show you guys more stuff. But I'm kind of doing what I think an average person would do on their first playthrough while explaining things that you should be doing. Right? I don't know if that sounds right. But whatever. Easy defense. Same people. Um. Yeah. God, I love Kunagi. 
You know, like, Kunagi's weakest trait, I guess is maybe her attack power is really low, but, you know, like, so what? <laughs> and, you know, again, I neglect the fact that he's got 70% counter. Whatever. Yeah, I could have just wolf fanged him, but I decided no. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take him out normally here. Um, he's got really high hit too. Um, so basically I'm gonna have Daigo going again, take another hit, and then him and Tamaki will both rest. Um, you know, you can play this game flawlessly without any of your own people taking hits throughout the entire game, but I'm just doing whatever works. I, I guess I don't know. Oh great, they sent in more. <laughs> um. So this is what we get. You know, Kyoichiro could probably... I don't know, I just, I ruined everything. Just use this and run away. <laughs> I ruined everything, viewers. I didn't do anything right. Um, I didn't do anything right. But whatever. I, it's, I, I forgot that they would send in more people, so... You know, whatever. What the hell ever, man. I didn't take the territory, it doesn't matter. But, uh, here's more about Xion, so. Um. It's pretty good. I don't know, her, her story is probably one of my favorites in the game. Um. Yeah. I mean, the other heroines. You know, aside from, like, Kunagi and Senna. Uh are a lot more, you know, I mean, they're not life or death kind of people. Shion's not either. She's not like a life or death heroine like Sena and Kunagi. You know, Sena and Kunagi are both doing something extremely important that shapes the world in some way. The other heroines are just kind of important to Roga, you know? They're there for the ride. They're not helping as much. But, so I guess Shion is like them in that sense, but... She's still, uh, I don't know, she's just got the most interesting story to me. So. That's how that goes. Um, yeah, then, I guess, I guess that's how that goes. So I'll see you in the next part.